Hi, I'm Gary Mead. I'm currently serving as the Interim Dean of St. Mary's Episcopal Cathedral here in Memphis, Tennessee. Good to be with you. Well, moments of crisis in the, in the life of the faith community really sort of peel back some of the veneer, if you will. You get to see who, who people really are and what people are really like when they're, when they're put to the, the test, if you will. Uh, I, obviously, the, the most clear example that would come to most anybody's mind in these days would be what happened during the pandemic. How did we respond during those moments? Uh, when that hit, I was at uh, St. Mary's Episcopal Church in Dyersburg, a small church in rural Northwest Tennessee. And when the word came down that we could no longer meet in person, you know, there was some real anxiety about well, how then do we identify ourselves as a parish, as a parish family? How do we connect in the absence of being able to gather in the physical space? So I felt that it was incumbent upon me and upon all of us to explore a new reality. Um, in, in this case, what was new to many of us was, of course, Zoom. We all know it now, but in those days, not many of us did. But this new opportunity of saying, okay, we're not going to be in the same room, right? Drawing the same air, but we're, we're still subsisting on the same spirit. We're still gathered together in the spirit, even if we're not gathered in, in the body, you know, personally, physically. And, and that, was a, that was a real moment for us to, to unpack and to discover what it meant to be a church family. Um, and to say, you know what, we, we can do this and we can find connection, we can find continuity. Um, and we can build ourselves up in the body of Christ, even though we're joining ourselves remotely, joining with each other remotely, I should say. And, and then of course there were unexpected benefits. We had people joining us from Iowa, from Arizona, from Florida, uh, who otherwise would not be able to be with us in person, but were able to be with us virtually and, and still found it to be a compelling and uplifting um, opportunity for fellowship and shared worship. Well, to understand sort of the emotional groundedness of, of St. Mary's Dyersburg, you have to understand, first of all, that being the only Episcopal church for miles around means that if you want an Episcopal expression of worship, you have an option. You don't get to pick the church that where everybody there believes as you do or speaks as you do or dresses as you do. And it, it sort of enforces, it, it, it imposes a greater variety of, of um, oh, I'm not to say disparity, but a greater just a variety of, of expressions, a variety of opinions, a variety of uh, priorities. Mm -hmm. And you would think, okay, how, does that, how is that going to work? Well, it works the way it's supposed to. We were representative of the broad diversity of the body of Christ, um, which meant that yes, there are people you know way over here on this side of the world in some issues, or way over there on the other side in some issues, but united, and this is the important point, this was a community that was already united in wanting to be together, to share together in moments of worship, to share together in moments of working for the common good for whether it was the parish or the larger community. That's the foundation, that's the emotional grounding so that when the, when the world stirs up around you and the winds of you know, fortune rage in, in ways you could not have anticipated and you do not welcome, you, you have that grounding that says, you know what, whatever else happens, we have each other. And, and having each other is a, such a forceful reminder of uh, we have God because it is by being together that we're reminded of our continuity and, and community with, not just with the believers, but with our Savior as well. And, and that, that goes a long way towards addressing those uh, moments of emotional challenge and, uh, and difficulty.